Hi everyone, Sean here with Reality Forge. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new MetaHuman animator in Unreal Engine 5.6 by using audio and audio visual inputs to drive MetaHuman talking animation. In our launcher, we'll go to the library and then under options for 5.6.0, we're going to enable the MetaHuman creator core data. You can also check this box when you're downloading 5.6.0 for the first time. In the project browser, we're going to go to games, blank, and make sure starter content is enabled. Here you can name your project. I'm going with MH56 preview and then clicking on the create button. Once Unreal starts, we're going to click on edit, plugins, and then up here, you're going to search for MetaHuman. We'll first enable MetaHuman creator, then go ahead and enable Cortec, animation calibration processing, and animator, and then restart now. Once Unreal restarts, you'll need to enable some missing plugins, which you can do over here. And then after a moment, you'll get the final restart now pop up on the bottom right. Once Unreal restarts, we're going to click on File and then choose New Level. From the options here, we're going to select Basic and then click on Create. Let's go ahead and save our level by clicking on the floppy disk icon, right click to make a new folder, name it Maps, double click to go inside this folder and give your level a name. I'm going with MetaHuman Audio and then we'll click on Save. Right click in your content browser and choose Add Quixel Content. Then on the left here, select MetaHumans and I'm going with Jesse, which I've already downloaded. Click on Add then import, and then enable any missing plugins. When you see the prompt, click on import, and then click on import once again over here, and then restart Unreal after saving everything. Now we need a sound file that's in the WAV format with dialogue in it. So I'm using the native Windows sound recording app. Just make sure you go into settings and change its output format to WAV. Now go ahead and record yourself talking. This is me just saying a couple of test sentences, which then I'm going to click on stop, reveal where this recording goes, and then drag and drop it into the content browser to import it into Unreal. Right click and choose new folder. I'm going to name this folder audio and then drag and drop the file we just imported into it. Double click to open this folder and inside this folder, we're going to right click, go to MetaHumans and choose MetaHuman Performance, which I'm going to name MHP Audio Sample. Double click to open the MetaHuman Performance and on the right here, choose audio and then drag and drop the audio file we just imported into the slot over here. For the visualization mesh, we're going to use Jesse, and then when prompted, we're going to use the audio clock source. Now you can click process on the top left and your MetaHuman will start talking, but this head movement mode over here, I just want to demonstrate what happens when you leave it on transform track. You'll get this weird animation where your MetaHuman is tilted. I recommend setting this to control rig and then clicking on process. On the right here, you can even choose a mood that's going to affect the expression your MetaHuman makes when matching to the audio. Now our MetaHuman is reacting to the audio that we just set and has some facial expressions as well. I'm going to go ahead and save the MetaHuman performance and export the animation. Let's send this to the MetaHuman folder under Jesse and I'll right click and make a new folder here called Animations. Double click to enter this folder and I'm going to name my animation Anim underscore audio sample. Next click on create and you'll get a pop-up saying that it's missing some animation curves. Ignore this, click on yes and then your animation should export. Next, we're going to add a new sequence and I like to put my sequences in their own folder. So a sequence folder, and I'm going to name this MH Talking. Next, navigate to the MetaHuman folder, go to Jesse, drag BP Jesse into the environment, rotate it so that it's facing you and then reset its position. Let's save everything because this is a preview build and this is where crashes begin. With Jesse selected, we're going to add this MetaHuman to the sequence and then remove the two control rigs that get applied to the body and the face. Next, select the face track in Sequencer, go to Animation and select the animation you just created. You can also add an audio track to Sequencer by clicking on Add and then selecting Audio Track, selecting Yes when switching to the audio clock and then selecting the same recording that we imported earlier. Now I'm just going to drag it back here and this way my MetaHuman is synced with the audio that's also playing in Sequencer. You can also use your webcam as a video source in MetaHuman Performance. Instead of audio, here on the top right, we're going to select monocular footage. We'll then create a capture data asset, which I'm going to name capture data underscore webcam. Double click to open the capture data and you'll see a section right above here called image sequences. On the right here, click on the add button and create a new image media source. I'm going to name this one IMC underscore webcam image sequence. Double click to open the image media source and here's where you can set a path to your image sequence. To record my webcam, I'm using OBS, which is a free piece of software that you can get for Windows, Mac or Linux. If you haven't used OBS before, there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, but it's quite straightforward. Just to show you an example here, I've created a new scene, named this webcam, and then within this scene, I'm adding a video capture device. Next, I'm going to change the resolution on my webcam, so 1920 by 1080. And here on the bottom right, I can start and stop recording. To turn my video from OBS into an image sequence, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. In the Edit tab, I'm going to drag and drop the video from OBS and agree to change the project's frame rate. 
On the Deliver tab, we're going to use the H.264 template and set the video format to PNG, as Unreal is expecting an image sequence, not a video file. If your OBS video has audio, we can go over to the Audio tab, set the format to WAV, and add this as a separate render job. This will allow DaVinci to output an image sequence and an audio WAV file. Point this to the first image in the image sequence and make sure you specify whatever frame rate OBS is recording in. Clicking open will play the image sequence and clicking thumbnail will set its thumbnail in the content browser. Since my OBS recording has audio as well, I'm going to right click and import the audio file. Remember it needs to be a wave and drag and drop it over here. After setting the frame rate, which is very important, we're going to unset and reset the MediHuman performance. Set this back to monocular footage and then set the visualization mesh to Jesse front mesh. We'll confirm our audio clock source and set the head movement mode to control rig. As I mentioned before, this is where the crashes begin. So I'm going to save and then click process. Now in this example, I'm not speaking, but you can see it's tracking my lip movement as I chew gum. For my second example where I'm speaking, I'm going to download this free sitting animation from the Actor Core Reillusion Motion Library. I then set up an IK rig and a retargeter that would move these animations from Reillusion to MetaHumans. For a quick environment, I downloaded the unfinished building from Quixel using Fab. To bring all this together, I have the retargeted animation playing on the body and two separate voiceover lines playing on the face. And with that, your MetaHumans can now talk using just audio or audio and video from a webcam in Unreal Engine 5.6 preview one. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. Give me a like or a sub and I will see you in the next one.